Hey everyone, in today's video I will be creating a color swatch for Zirconium Cerulean which is made with the pigment PB71. First of all, big thanks to Elaine for helping me buy and ship this full pan all the way from USA to Singapore. I actually wanted to buy this myself but apparently Kramer pigments do not ship to Singapore. Do check out my review for Kramer pigments because I reviewed this box set many years ago. The downside to Kramer pigments is because they don't sell their watercolor paint in tubes, if you want to replace the colors, you will have to buy another pen. So this is concentrated Zirconium Cerulean PB71. And as a company that sells pigments, Kramer pigments offer many interesting colors and rare colors such as Inmin Blue which is US $78 for a single full pen. And now let's create a gradated wash. This paint has dried quite nicely, so this color actually reminds me of Cerulean instantly. I mean, the name has Cerulean in it. So let's compare the color with some other colors that I have. This is Daniel Smith's Manganese Blue Hill, which you can see is more vibrant. This is made with PB15. I have Cerulean Blue from Daniel Smith, PB35. This color, this blue seems to be deeper than Zirconium as well. And I can see more granulation here compared to Zirconium. And lastly, I have Cerulean Blue Chromium, which is a color that I love. This is PB36 and this blue is darker as well compared to Zirconium and also has more granulation. Here's a close up on the diluted color. This is Cerulean Blue Chromium PB36. And this is Cerulean Blue PB35. Let's take a look at the secondary colors we can mix from Zirconium Cerulean, such as greens, purples, and violets. Now on this paper, I also have PB33, manganese blue, and this is the Etsy PB33 that I purchased, which does not look like manganese blue at all. So I guess I was cheated of my money. I will be using Hansa Yellow Medium to mix the greens and maybe a cool red to mix the violets, maybe a rose or magenta. This is Hansa Yellow Medium. It looks like there is some blue in it already because the color is dirty, the pen is dirty. And this is Zirconium. Cerulean on the left side. The tinting strength does not seem to be that high or as high compared to ultramarine or phthalo which is expected because it's a cerulean. So let's have yellow and green, sorry yellow and blue to mix this green. Oh this is a very lovely green. This is a yellow green and you can see some granulation here which was not obvious with the which was not obvious on the earlier paper which is Fabriano Artistico. This is also Fabriano paper but this seems to have slightly more texture. So this is a very lovely green with slight granulation. Now Cerulean should have Granulation. Let's charge in some color while the wash is still wet to see what kind of mix we can get. Next, let's have magenta. I can't remember what color this is specifically. It looks like a magenta to me. So let's have 
Zirconium. Perhaps a rose would mix better with this compared to this magenta color. Let's have Queen Credon Rose instead. Okay, this is definitely more vibrant compared to the earlier color. So let's have Zirconium again. Now this is uh, this violet or purple is definitely more vibrant. So if you start off with a primary color that is not vibrant to begin with, your secondary color, your mixed color, will not be vibrant. And this looks nice. So the mixes are almost dry. Let's take a closer look. Now this manganese blue PB33, which is the original manganese blue, just looks so beautiful and this looks like a more vibrant version of zirconium actually this looks like a more vibrant version of cerulean so this is hansa yellow as you can see is a non-granulating transparent color so when mixed with zirconium cerulean we have this granulating yellow green which looks really beautiful so this color is great for mixing granulating loose and if you want to have a darker green for the shadow areas for example you can use or add french ultramarine to this and this is the magenta and zirconium cerulean mix which to me looks kind of dull because the magenta isn't that vibrant to begin with there is some granulation there is also some color separation but it's quite subtle Granulating paint have heavier pigments, so the pigments will settle faster and they will separate themselves from the other color when mixed. So this is the magenta and zirconium cerulean mix. And this is the mix with Queen Crydon Rose PB19 with zirconium cerulean. So this purple or violet is more vibrant and there is color separation as well which is very nice the color you can get from zirconium cerulean does not look unique enough for me to recommend this paint so i would recommend you get the usual cerulean blues pb35 or pb36 which are more common to find and you can find those cerulean blues in tubes which means they are going to be more economical in the long run by the way i will be restarting the limited color sketching and painting series again so maybe i will restart the series with this set of colors i will feature zirconium cerulean again so do subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not so that you can get notified when that video appears thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye